Farm by Reef here. Um, so this morning I got up, I usually always go to my tank and uh, check it out before I go to work, and I noticed one of my green uh, Montiporas was starting to turn white around the edges and down through the centers. I'm like, it looked like the, the skin of the tissue has been being eaten. So I did a little bit of research to just see what it could be, and I find out maybe it could be uh, uh, Montipora eating Nubrantia. There's different kinds of Nubrantia that you can get. Some are beneficial, and some are passed in your tank. I might have the, the pest type the monopora eating new branchia. So I'm going to show you the coral that has the issue right now and I'm going to see if we can uh, get that coral out and maybe to give it a coral dip and see if we have any critters that fall off on it because I really don't want to lose this monopora. It's been growing really well. I had it as a frag and it's really growing out there really nice. So I'm probably going to have to break it off the rock and then probably re-glue it thereafter. But let's see if it's if that's the issue, if it's the monopora eating new branchia and we'll go from there. So I'm just going to show you which one it is before I take it. Alright guys, so this is my green monopora that I'm having an issue with. I don't know if you guys can see, but you can see where the two corals have grown apart a bit. You see how it's all turning white in there? And I've done my research, like the, the monopora eating new branchia, they always start from the center of their coral, like the coral, or near the bottoms, and they eat their way out, eating the tissue of the coral. So tonight, I'm going to try to get this coral out. It was a frag, I have it attached. You can see how well it's encrusting the stone. So. It's too bad I'm gonna have to take it out, but I definitely want to kill these whatever you know if it's new branch here or whatever is on there right now. We're gonna find out, but I don't want them multiplying in my tank and going after all my other colors of monopore, because they lay eggs underneath. So let's see what we got. But you guys, I'll zoom in a little more. You can see, you'll see right down the crevice there. Something, something's been eating it, eating the the tissue of the coral. I can see if we can get down underneath as well. All right, so I'm trying to look underneath the monopore. If you guys can see, see all the whites, the white uh, markings and stuff. It's all white down under there. Same thing. The flesh is being eaten, the tissue off the monopora. So I'm pretty sure that it's the nubrantia eating this one. And if you see on the left there, it looks like something fuzzy. That could be one of the nubrantias. So I'm gonna next. I'm gonna take this out of the tank right now, and uh, we're gonna take it downstairs into the lab, and we're gonna give it a coral dip and see if we can find any critters on there. Hey guys, so I just made it down to my lab. So I end up I I got the coral off uh, the rock work there. It went all right. Um, I end up I'm probably gonna have to frag this uh, monopora because it was so well fastened to the rock, it broke in a few different spots. Um, so there's a little piece left in the tank. So what tonight I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna monitor it with a flashlight because these do uh, monopora new branches that keep coming out at night meat. So I got the other specimen down here right now. I got the monopora down here, and that's what it is. We got some new branches, guys. So I'm going to show you what they look like so you guys have an idea. If you see this problem in your tank, you guys can do it too. So I'm going to do some close-up shots here. So uh, let's All right, guys. So I got the green monopora here. Piece of it broke off. Um, so I'm probably going to frag this. So I just want to show you guys. So this is the green. You see here where all the tissue? This is what the new branch did. They, they they start from the center or from the below the, of the coral, and they slowly eat their way out to the ends. So we flip this over, see that guys right there? See that? That's a uh, monopore eating new branchia. Now that's a pest that you don't want to have. You can see how they've been, this is like one night. There's none of this this uh, on the other morning. So look at that. You can see the little guys there. That's what they look like. And they slowly eat all the tissue of the monopore until it's dead. So I'm going to coral dip this right now because I can take them all off, but they, they deposit eggs on the monopora itself. So I'm gonna coral dip that right now. I always coral dip all my corals before I put them in the tank and I'm just amazed how this one got through. I don't understand. But I just want to show you guys to see if I can get a close up the light for you guys here. Is it gonna focus? You see them? They're hard to tell but they look like they're really fuzzy, eh? So in the mix of that there would be eggs and everything else. So that's them. See them? So I'm going to coral dip this right now. I'm going to mix up my solution. I use Revive and uh, it usually works pretty good. So let's, I'm going to mix it. We'll drop it in and see if we can see them fall off. All right, guys. So I got the coral dip going on there right now. You can see it's starting to work. They're starting to let go. It's a little foggy because of the, I, just pre, I just mixed it all up. But see that new branch here right there? Look at him. He's starting to let go right now. Um, I use this uh, Revive Coral Cleaner from uh, Two Little Fishies. I'm just trying to keep her in focus here for you guys. So there's the new branch here. Starting to get, starting to affect them there now. Who else knows what else is going to fall off of here? So I threw the other uh, part of the monopore in there and it's in the coral dip as well. I got them both on both angles. Now you guys can see them right there. Not liking the coral dip too much. 
It's the Revive Coral Cleaner from Two Little Fishies. They're pretty strong. They're usually anything that comes in contact with this Revive. You can tell they're pretty pretty resilient to this stuff. So maybe in, in the future, if I get more Monopora, I would uh, soak them a lot longer and agitate it a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna agitate this to see if I can knock them off. Alright, getting some knocked off there now. See that? See them laying there? They're floating. The revive's starting to kill them now. So that's a bonus. I'm gonna try to give them a couple more taps here. Just bear with me with the camera. It's all live action. Let's give them another tap. They're on there pretty good. They're starting to come off now. I think the revive's really starting to hit them. Let's give them a little longer here. It says like for revive usually it's 15 minutes per coral to see what comes off them. It's starting to work there now. It's really starting to nail them. So if you guys ever see that white this kind of white marking on, on your monoporas, that means you have Monty eating your branchia. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead now. I'm going to clean these up some more right now, and then I'll show you what they look like. See if I can get them out. Show you uh, up and close and personal. Alright guys, so I just took out all my corals. I just strained this so you guys could see what they look like when they're dead. So that's what the new branchias look like. There's not much to them. There's quite a few that came off that coral. If you look at all these white specks, they're all the new branchia. I wish I could get in closer for you guys. But that's what they look like. So right now, I just I took my corals out right now, and uh, I'm just using a brush, and I'm making sure to brush everything, make sure there's no eggs left. And I'm gonna rinse those off with some aquarium water, and I'm probably just gonna put them in my sump for tonight, and then tomorrow I'm probably gonna frag these all up. It's uh, too nice a coral to, to waste. But I wanted to show you guys, hopefully help you YouTubers and reefers out there, what these uh, monopore eating your branches can do to your corals. It's a real pain. That's why it's always really, really good to dip. So I know when I do my monopores and stuff now, it says do it for 15 minutes, but I'm definitely going to do it a lot longer because these nasty bugs, it's, I can't believe it. I got in my tank. I usually always uh, never have this problem. So that's what they look like, guys. Pretty nasty. I'll post some pictures through the video up close and personal what they look like. All right. Alright guys, so that's a little video guys I wanted to share with you guys of the monopora eating the branchia. It's a real, it's a real pest eater, so you definitely don't want it in your tank. So if you guys ever wake up in the morning and you see your monopora's got white on it, you could know you probably have uh, monopora eating the branchia. Real pain. Um, so you guys see me use the, the Revive uh, cleaner coral on them. It, it worked, in my honest opinion. I'd go for 20 minutes instead of 15. They're pretty hardy, these little worms. So I just wanted to share this with you guys, so hopefully it helps my fellow reefers out there, you know, if you ever see this problem, this is how to deal with it. Um, I hope this uh, video helps you guys. Um, I try to get as up and close and personal with these things as possible. Um, I'll show a different couple of different pictures on here, uh, just photos of what they are, and hopefully you guys don't get them like I did. I'm usually always really careful, I always you know, coral dip and clean and scrub my corals before they get in my tank because you don't want these issues. Um, so I hope you guys uh, like this video. Um, you know, please leave your comments. I like hitting you guys up. Uh, you know, you can join the club on Facebook or check me out on YouTube. I'm there. You can guys hit me up anytime. I, I love uh, talking with you guys and uh, interacting with you. So if you like this video, please subscribe. Hit the like button. And probably on the next video, I'm going to frag this up for you guys, show you how to frag. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.